here with Hofstra softball head coach Larissa Anderson following a 6-4 loss to Delaware. Coach, your overall thoughts on today? Disappointing, really disappointing. Our defense let us down. I mean, that's the foundation of our program. We, we always consistently play solid defense, and, and today we didn't. We were passive. We sat back on our heels. Uh, we sit back on our heels. The balls will eat you up every single time, and that, that was a, the reason why we had five errors. Um, got beat on two bunts in front of us, and that's just passive play, and we can't play like that. Uh, what did you think of your team's pitching performance against this very good Delaware hitting squad? I mean, over the course of this weekend. Over the course of the weekend, pretty good. Uh, Cornell didn't have great stuff this morning. I saw it right away. Um, and then as soon as we went through the lineup the second time, I was going to make a change immediately um, just because she wasn't getting swings and misses like she normally gets. Um, she was squeezing the ball a little bit, which just tells me she was a little fatigued, um, overthrowing at times, um, which is why I brought Irons in. And Irons did her job. She rolled out ground balls. We just didn't make the plays behind that we needed. So uh, replacing her with Irons wasn't the plan from the get-go necessarily, was it? You know, I had, I, I had all three of them ready. Um, I didn't expect Cornell to be able to go the distance because Delaware does have very, very strong offense. Um, she went through the lineup twice, um, and then I knew I didn't immediately would have to go to Irons. What happened to Paterno this weekend? I mean, three home runs against uh, their pitcher. I mean, what, what was she seeing there? Uh, she was letting the ball be elevated, especially that changeup, um, which is what she was really able to capitalize on. Um, the changeup was up in the zone, so then she was really able to handle it well. What did you think of uh, so so you mentioned that the team that the balls took funny hops in you in terms of the errors? Do you think that's the kind of effect that they're that you've seen before, or something that can last longer? Or is that just a one game thing? Do you think? Hopefully, it's just a one game thing. <laughs> um, you know, the the nickname of this field is Pride Rock. It's it's like playing in a parking lot sometimes, and you know we, we have a beautiful day and it's windy, so it dries out pretty fast. And if you don't play our infield aggressively, the ball will eat you up because it, it accelerates on that second hop and. You know, the, the more we get out here, and it's that was just mentality. It's not a mechanical thing. It's just they were passive on those ground balls. They didn't attack them, and then the ball ate them all. Uh, Scott Pato's had quite a weekend. What adjustments did she make to really improve her batting? Uh, swinging at good pitches and not trying to do too much. That, that really was the thing. Um, she's really starting. I mean, she came in as a lefty slapper. So she hasn't hit righty in three years. So the more she's hitting, seeing live pitching, the better she's getting. And I think she's just going to have a great career. But it's great to see that she's figuring some things out right now. Just overall, what are your main takeaways that you can improve on in terms of uh, going into your next games from this weekend? You know, we were very successful yesterday because we had a plan at the plate. And today, uh, we got ahead of ourselves. We, w we went away from our plan, and we chased the ball out of the zone. And it doesn't matter who you're facing on the mound. You have to stick to your plan. You have to have an approach and understand what pitches you're looking for. And we didn't execute very well today. And you know the five errors definitely does not help. You can't expect that five errors and and win very many ball games. But uh, offensively, just disappointed that we we went away from our plan. Thanks, coach. My pleasure. Thank you, coach. Yeah, Thanks. you're welcome.